Welcome to another video. I hope you like that unboxing of the Mars M1 Enhance. I'm Keedron with 924 Photography, and in this video, we're going to review the Hollyland Mars M1 Enhance. We're going to cover how to use this monitor, the functions, the overall build quality. First, I want to thank Hollyland for sponsoring this video. So what's in the box? You get a Hollyland Mars M1 Enhance. It's a 5.5 inch uh, wireless transceiver monitor. You get two capsule antennas, you get a tempered glass protector, you get a USB uh, type C converter that'll plug into here, and you get a D-tap to locking DC power cable that'll go here and you can plug it to like a V-mount battery. And you also get a limited one year uh, manufacturer's warranty. Let's talk about what this monitor is and why would you choose this over let's say a Ninja Atmos. The Mars M1 Enhance is an all-in-one transmitter, receiver, and monitor unit. The M1 can transmit between two M1 units. The M1 can also transmit and receive from the Mars 300 Pro, the Mars 400S, and all of the Mars 4K models. That being said, I've been using the 300 Pro set up with my gimbal until I got my 4K unit from Hollyland. Now, there are some limitations when using the 300 Pro with the M1. For example, when I'm using the 300 Pro to transmit a signal to my M1 while running it on my RS3 Pro gimbal, I can only transmit to either the M1 or the 300 Pro receiver. Basically, it's one or the other with this setup. Now, this is perfectly fine if I'm just trying to eliminate cables while using it with my gimbal. It can also transmit to smartphones, tablets with the Hollyview app. Let's go over the monitor display. Mars M1 Enhance is a touch screen with a 1920 by 1080 5.5 inch screen with a thousand nits brightness. So that is capable of shooting inside or outside. This monitor is professionally color calibrated from the manufacturers and it has multiple levels of color temperature adjustments. The screen supports the Rec. 709 color gamut and it has a 16 by nine aspect ratio and it has 16.7 million natural colors. The M1 Enhance features an HDMI input, HDMI loop out, and one 3G SDI input, as well as a 3.5 millimeter headphone output. So I'm gonna be using a 12G SDI cable from Condor Blue, and that's going to, that has a capability of 8K resolution, so it can just do pretty much all the range. Now that cable is pretty expensive. This monitor supports up to DCI UHD 4K 30 HDMI input and output for expanded connectivity and compatibility. The SDI provides expanded frame rates flexible for both broadcast and production frame rates, so even broadcast people can use this. This monitor has automatic trigger recording and video playback, which means you can replay your video wherever and whenever you want. This recording function supports up to two minutes of recording time. The Mars M1 Enhance has 3D LUT presets that are available in the unit. You can also load your own custom LUTs. Well guys, it has smart channel scan. What does that even mean? It enables you to find the interference free option for more stable connection and a better experience. So that means as soon as you turn it on, this Hollyland thing is going to scan to get you the right stable connection. Now it has a fan built into it with the choice to turn it on or off, or you can put it in auto mode. The mute mode keeps the monitor working with the lower fan noise without affecting the video recording. Let's talk about the Hollyland OS system. The Mars M1 Enhance offer a ton of advanced monitoring tools such as waveform, vector scope, zebra patterns, aspect mark, anamorphic D-squeeze, crosshatch, and even false color, which I use to get my skin tones right when I'm filming. You have total control of these tools with fine tuning every shot to your liking. The Mars M1 has a range of 450 feet. Wow, that's some range. Let's test it now before we continue.
All right, so we're outside and we're gonna do the range test for this Hollyland Mars M1. Now for this range test, I decided to use the 4K unit to see how far I can go because both of them have 450 feet line of sight. So it doesn't really matter which one I use for this test. Now, if we wanted to do the cell phone test, there are tons of YouTube videos out on the cell phone test where instead of going to an M1, you go to a cell phone unit the latency. So I didn't talk about the latency test, but this is it. If you can see it on the screen right now, we're on a pop. That is the latency of me going out of my Dez view into my Hollyland and into here. Now I just wanna expand on what I'm using right here before we get ready to do the range test. I'm using my FX6 with the 28 to 75 by Sigma. And then I have a Dez view, uh, I have a Dez view monitor on the top. It's a 5.5 inch screen, just like this one. And I have that on the Dez view going out of the HDMI, well, is going out of the FX6 into the Dez view, out of the Dez view into the 4K Hollyland unit that's up there. And then that is transmitting to here. Now, what could I do for this? If I wanted, if somebody else was wanting to view this monitor, I could turn that monitor around and they could be viewing that monitor and then this could be a, a display monitor or I could actually turn this one on and run a DP monitor which is bigger. I could use my View Sonic if I wanted to. So this is so expandable. Now if we wanted to expand it even more, then what we could do is I have a Hollyland 300 Pro set and I could come out of the M1, right? I could come out of the M1 here and then uh, I could actually go to another monitor or I could go to some cell phones. And then expanding on that, I'm pretty sure I can come out of this unit too, put another transmitter on it, a Hollyland 4K, say their new Mars 400S Pro 2s. I could have that coming out of here and then I could run it to three uh, two more DP monitors or two more of these monitors. It's, it's really expandable as long as you're using the transmitters. So before we do the range test, I want to go over with my setup. My setup right here, I'm outside and I'm using a one by four quad sun panel by Generate and it's at 55% right now because I'm shooting in open shade and uh, I'm powering it with a Blue Eddy AC 180. That's uh, 1800 watts, that's it. So I could use two of these lights if I wanted to and just have really good uh, footage here. So, all right, so let's go and let's do the range test and I'm gonna turn my microphone on here uh, on record so if I drop out here, you can still hear me of when this unit actually turns off. All right, so for the range test, I'm actually looking at the monitor. Hopefully uh, it gets me in focus. And uh, since I want to be in line of sight, I'm just gonna back up and we're gonna do it like this. I don't really wanna turn my back. And if I turn my back, it's just because I want to get off of these steps real quick. So um, I'm still transmitting right here. All right, so I'm gonna do a walk back. So I am walking back and I'm still, I still got good signal really good signal I'm not breaking up at all waving my hand yep still looking good man I'm probably never going to be this far or even if somebody is watching this video they're still not going to be this far either you know what I'm saying so we're still going and this is line of sight the reason why I don't want to turn my back is because that wouldn't be line of sight anymore so this is going to be raw not cut up this is it so it's still going, wave my hand. We still got it, or I'm pretty far. Like literally, this is good for a football game for sure. Waving my hand, we still good. Golly, I ain't gonna ever be this far from my camera. Bro, this is some good stuff. So these units have definitely gotten better, way better. Now the microphone, I don't know if the microphone didn't cut out, but you wouldn't know it cut out because I have it internally recording, but this is supposed to be 300 feet or something line of sight too. So I'm waving my hand now, still going. You see me? I still got good stuff. I'm waving my hand. Can you see me waving my hand? 
Are we frozen? Let me move to the side. Nope, we're not frozen. We're moving. All right, so I'm just gonna move to the side now. From side to side, I'm moving to, to my left. Moving to my right so we'll know that it's still working. Oh yeah, we're far. We're definitely super far. Look at that. Bro, I am almost at the end of this for sure. My microphone's definitely gotta be off. So let's see, I'm moving to the left. Yep, it's still good. Look at this range, bro. It's Hollyland. Hollyland, y'all did a damn, damn good job. Moving over here, just so you can see that. I'm actually, you can see the car moving, so we're still good. We're still good. If I'm talking, we're good. I think I'm gonna just, I ain't gonna even be this far. I mean, the range test, I mean, look, I'm, I'm pretty far, bro. I'm pretty sure with line of sight, I'm moving over here. And this is the 4K unit with the M1. Like I said, either one will work. Almost hit that tree. Go back behind these trees. We're gonna walk around here. I don't know if you can see me now. Yep, I'm still moving. And I'm pretty far, bro. I ain't gonna even see a lot to you. I am pretty, pretty far. So yeah, it. I could probably go even further, but I'm not gonna do that because I don't see anybody being this far from the unit anyways. So I'm gonna walk back. This is gonna make this video pretty long, but I'm gonna walk in a zigzag. So you can see I am still in transmitting. Wow. I remember the very first Hollylands. The very first ones. Like the range was good on those too. But their stuff has gotten even better. Like, way better. Now, granted, DJI has a transmission system that supposedly will go 20,000 feet. You know what I'm saying? That's like almost a mile, right? So that's good. So I believe truly that Hollyland will eventually get to where their stuff is not gonna be 450 feet line of sight no more. It's gonna be up there with DJI's transmitting system. But for the, for the regular consumer or the professional, are you really going to need more than 450 feet? I'm pretty, far, I'm, I'm pretty sure I was further than 450 feet. I'm pretty sure of it, because that's pretty far. I could be wrong, I didn't take steps. But again, like I said, for the average professionals using this, you're gonna be using it in a studio set, maybe at a football game, uh, where you got somebody running around with a gimbal and you wanted to see it, and you're in the, and you're in the top box or something like that. So again, yes, I get that for a football game and you need to see it, but for anything else, unless you're chasing a car or something, like I said, the DJI transmission system is gonna be 20,000 feet, but this is 450. And I was literally way back there. And I know that it was working pretty good. So I'm just gonna cut up in here and come back for the video. So all right, we're gonna jump back to Kedron at the house. And uh, we're gonna wrap this thing up. We see the range on the M1 in hands is definitely good. I'm probably never gonna be that far away from my camera. Uh, yeah, unless, you know, I'm monitoring from the M1 and somebody else is using a gimbal and I'm just trying to make sure we got the right shot. That's the only way that thing is gonna be that far from my camera. Now let's look at a few setup options that I have here. I have my Sony FX3 on my Ronin RS3 Pro. Underneath, I'm running the Hollyland 4K transmitter, and that is connected to my camera with the short HDMI cable, and it's powered all by my RS3 Pro, which runs the battery down fairly quickly. So if you wanna go with this route, you need to buy another battery for at least your Ronin uh, RS3 Pro. On the top of my tilt arm is the Mars M1 Enhance on receiver mode, so I can have this cable free. This helps me get those low angles without worrying about my cable getting wrapped up. So in this room right here, 
Let me tell you about this setup. I have a ViewSonic 16 inch OLED screen right here. It's a color pro monitor with the Mars 4K receiver as a DP monitor so I can see myself. So back here I have a shower liner. That's my main light with a Generay Twin Sun 1x2 panel at like 80% that's lighting me up here, all right? I have my camera here with my teleprompter and the 4K receiver so I can see it. Uh, it's the Zhuin M20C. I have a Generay Quad Sun soft panel and it's a one by four boosting up in the ceiling to emulate the sun coming in from this side. And also from this side, I have a Godox S60 with a gobo in it simulate the light that's coming in to add depth in this image. Now, let's expand on this 4K unit. Who is this monitor for? Well, it's for anyone that needs all the tool assist features to help get better images. Working professionals that need SDI connections, people that are needing to transmit cable free while running a gimbal, or if you need a monitor that can be a transmitter or receiver at the touch of a button. For those who need to transmit from a monitor to a DP monitor so your client doesn't have to hover over you. <laughs> so what would this monitor cost you? This is gonna cost you $499 just for the monitor. Now, they have a two monitor kit that will cost you around $980. If you like this video, this is what I want you to do. I want you to like, comment, and subscribe, and make sure you hit that bell button so you don't never miss another video from me. And I wanna thank Hollyland for sponsoring this video, and stay tuned for my review of the uh, Hollyland 4K system. That'll be coming out soon. And until next time, I'm gonna see you in my next video. Peace.